Hey guys, Zach Morrow here with Roll Seal. I'm our national sales manager. We have got a, a new door that we're getting ready to release. We're super excited about it. Uh, it's, it's what we're calling our whiff door, our walk-in freezer model. Everything that you've come to expect over the years from a Roll Seal door, right? Ease of installation, auto closure, airtight seal, serviceability. All that stuff is, is obviously still encapsulated into this door, but we've we've been able to do you know what we used to do in a freezer door in a much smaller footprint, much sleeker design. A lot of you might be familiar with our walk-in cooler model that was released a couple of years ago. All the things that you've come to expect from that, push out egress, faster speed, they are all present in this new model. And, and so really real quick as we get ready to release this thing, wanted to bring Jordan Tooten in. He's a mechanical engineer for us, was heavily involved in the, the design of this new door. So we're gonna kind of give him a second to kind of do a, a component review, tell you a little bit about what's happening internally to the, to the door. As Zach said, there's, there's a few things that we want to kind of cover that are, that are um, critical components to the door that, that allow it to operate how it's, how it's uh, designed to operate. So if we want to start over here, we've got a few things on this, this left or this right end plate. But basically, here's our incoming power. Uh, so we have one, one input to the AC input to the door where on a WIC door, it, it can be either 115 or 230 volts on a, on a freezer specifically. It's going to be 230 only due to the fact that we have some components for the freezer door that require that. As we move, we move up, we've got our, our lead edge uh, assembly here. And basically if there's an obstruction in the way while the door is closing, it'll allow this, this to pivot away from the micro switch. And when that micro switch is, is broke, it'll, it will send a signal to the door to, to auto open or to reverse and auto open and wait for a, a timed closure until that object's out of the way. We also have a, a manual override here, and basically this would be used in the event of a power outage. Um, it can be driven with a three quarter inch socket. But basically this would be used if you wanted to open your door during a, a power outage. As we move up, um, we've, got, we've got our fans that are mounted, you can see in here. Basically this, this will be specific to a freezer door. But, but I've got a fan on, on both sides of this top duct. I've got this, what we call the return fan. The air is transferred through these ducts in a, in a counterclockwise rotation. So I've got my return fan, and then I've got a supply fan mounted the same way on, on this side. So, so these fans will, will allow the air to transfer, um, in a, like I said, in a clockwise rotation, and it'll come through this top duct, and then, and then these corner ducts, and then down the tracks. So the corner ducts will be attached with this strap you can see here. This will be removed upon install. These corner ducts will go in, the strap will go back on, and, and this is what will connect the, the ducts um, to make it a continuous system. Up here on our CMS plate, we also have a triac that, that's allowing us to control the output of the, our heating element, which is mounted here. Uh, this is this is going to be. We can talk about this in a minute, but this is going to be um, a demand-based system that allows us to vary the wattage of the seating element based on the, the requirement at the time. And in order to, to be able to, to make this a demand-based system, we, we had to have some temperature sensing uh, components here. So, in each of the corner ducts that are that are installed um, after the door is installed on the wall we'll have a thermistor that, that will be connected through this harness here. And basically what this will do is it'll give us a temperature of the air that's flowing through this corner duct. So I've got, I've got a temperature sensor in the, in the supply side and the return side, which allows me to know the difference. And based on, based on that difference, I can, the, the door will make decisions based on, on that difference to tell me how much wattage we need out. Uh, moving, moving around to here, I've got, I've got my, my harness that will go down the track. This will be connected to the, the photo eye or the safety beam, which will allow for if, the, if it's ever broken while the door is closing, it'll auto reverse uh, back to the open position and wait for that signal to, to come back. We also have the motor here. Um, this is what's used to drive the door up and down. Um, to, to allow us to know where the position of the door is at all times. We have, a, we have an encoder here that we're monitoring continuously. 
Um, and basically all this is done through the use of this controller. So this is our roll seal control. And you can see it's got all the, the programmable settings on it. There's a lot of options here. But basically, um, there's there are a couple of different circuit boards inside uh, based on the model. But we've got a power switch here. And this power switch is, is what controls the, the power in this, this um, controller. It is important to note here as well that, that on a freezer specific model, that when this power switch is in the off position, there is still power in, in, on this plate. Uh, due to that, we've got a cover that will cover this plate and, and it'll be uh, shipped in this fashion so that you can't get in there. Um, so basically when we look inside our controller, we have, we have a couple, couple different things here. So to start, we've got our, our VFD that we're using to, to, to control the speed of the motor. We've got, our, we've got a home sensor, which can be seen here. Uh, this home sensor is uh, what's going to allow us to know what the open position of the door is. It's going to automatically go back up to, to this position so it knows it's at its, at its upper limit. Uh, we also have a, a motion sensor that can be seen here. This motion sensor comes out of the top bar of the door. And basically what it does is it, there's a couple different options here, but it can be used for activation or it can be used uh, just as a, a safety or where it'll auto reverse if it senses motion or it can be, be used for both um, based on the programmable setting that, that's shown on the controller. Um, moving over to our, our circuit board that's seen here, this is a PCB201 and basically what this, this circuit board does is this is the board that controls the mechanical operation of the door. So this this controls our, our motor, the speed of the motor. This controls uh, all the safety activation for the door reversal, things like that. Um, it also has some, some options for wiring in uh, accessories or, or things like that. Um, but this is, this is the door board that controls the mechanical um, functionality of the door. And then this board is a PCB204 board. And basically what it does is it controls the freezer specific components. So when I talk about freezer specific components, I'm talking about things like the fans uh, on both sides. It controls the, the heating element output. It controls, um, it, it monitors these temperature sensors and allows us to know what we need at the time to keep, to, uh, to keep the condensation uh, from occurring. And then, you know, it also has, um, some, some things that allow us to, to manage the um, input voltage when we have voltage swings. So in other words, basically when we, when we have a change in our input voltage, this board will automatically reconfigure so that we have a continual um, voltage to our element so that we don't have uh, various changes throughout the day. Um, it is a good thing too here that, that to note is that um, the input for the door can be 208 or 240 volts. And basically there's nothing to change. This, this board automatically reconfigures the output to the element um, based on what the input is. As we move over uh, to the right here, you can see that there's a, there's a connector that comes through and connects to the board. But behind this plate is a power supply. And this power supply is what's used to, to power these two fans. So the fans will, will run at the same time. We, we have a, a supply and a return. We, we, they run almost as a, a booster fan, if you will. Uh, but this allows us to, to build up the amount of airflow that we need through the door. All right, so again, guys, extremely, extremely excited about the new door. Appreciate Jordan walking through it with us. We've got more videos to come, right? We're gonna do you an install video, an initial setup video, just to kind of finish this one out with, with a few things. Uh, most of you familiar with our door will know, but it, it does ship with a, a nice hood cover uh, that will go on and cover all this up in your, in your back room environment, keep it safe, keep it protected. Kind of to continue with the ease of installation conversation, all the doors will also ship with a, a true lockout tag out box. So this is the only place that an electrician will bring power to the door. You got your quick disconnect, that goes directly into the door. So again, you're just bringing power right here. Uh, so that'll ship standard pre-wired with every door. Another change that, that, that's uh, taking place with this door 
is our internal switch now takes the form of a wave switch. So all the inside switches for the door are now touchless in addition to your motion sensor that you have outside. So it is truly touchless, entry and exit into the door. It ships uh, with enough wire to mount it pretty much directly behind that track, but we also send it with some additional cable if you do run into a situation where you need to mount it uh, a, a different distance away from the door. But again, just some of the basics, guys. We appreciate your time. We're very excited about the door. Uh, we say this all the time at Roll Seal. I think it's plain to see after Jordan's walkthrough. We're not just a door company, right? We make solutions. Buy, buy a solution from us. You've got options all day long to just buy a door. Come to us. We'll, we'll get you a solution for, for your unique application. So, again, call us with any questions. We appreciate it. Thank you.